Hello everybody and welcome to another Hawkeye Star Rail video. Today I am making possibly one of the worst decisions of my Hawkeye Star Rail career. Today I have decided, I pulled on my, uh, on my first rerun banner with the Don Hong IL, right? I pulled on my first Light Cone banner, to be fair, when Jing Yuan came out, but once I was a little bit wiser, I, I stopped for a very, very long time and then pulled for Don Hong IL's Light Cone whenever he first came out. Not whenever he first came out, whenever uh, his rerun, and I got his rerun, I had a lot of pulls, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for the Light Cone, too. And then, after that, I went for Sparkle. I think today I am going to break the mold, and I am going to pull for my very first Eidolon. Let me give you the reason why. Um, I use Sparkle a lot. She is my favorite support in the game, and one of my favorite characters in the game. I genuinely believe that her Eidolon is actually really good. Right? This is really good. The Cypher effect granted by ultimate lasts for one extra turn. That's always good. And all allies with Cypher have their attack increased by 40%. That's pretty decent. That, that is pretty good. E2 is actually even crazier uh, because it allows allies to ignore a uh, percentage of the target's defense. And that's with each stack. It ignores 8%. So with that added up, that is 24%. Uh, defense ignore if you have all three stacks of Sparkle's talent activated. So that is really good. That is very, very good. But this, uh, this is also very good. We're going to maybe go for E1 here. We have a few pulls. We don't have a lot. This is not guaranteed. If we do not get it, that is okay because we get, uh, some, we get, uh, pity, pity, sorry. We get pity on the like or on the banner for future characters. Not only do we have these 47 pulls, but we actually have these 12 right here. So we are about to do about 60 pulls in this video uh, because I do have enough for one more pull here as well. So it actually uh, totals to be 48 and 12, making a total of 60 pulls that we are about to do. So without further ado, oh, by the way, we are actually really close to getting this. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see first. Let's see first uh, what we're working with here, right? This, I have not thought a lot about this at all, okay? I just decided, you know what? I kind of want to YOLO it, right? And if I get it, this is a character I use often. Let me kind of give you like a one-minute spiel of why I feel like I am unlocked to start pulling for Eidolons, right? Uh, one, the characters coming out within this next future, I don't know if I really care for Akron or Adventuring. Um, on top of that, the, the, that's the, those are the 2.1 characters and the 2.2 characters, um, Bootleg and Robin. Wait, sorry. Is it Bootleg? Uh, I think it's actually Boot Hill. Yeah, it's Boot Hill and Robin. Boot Hill is a hunt character. I don't actually have a lot of faith in hunt characters as a class. They're not really my thing. I don't, I'm not a big fan of hunt characters at all so far in the game uh, at all. Uh, with that being said, uh, also with Robin, it kind of, I, I have a big fear that Robin is just going to be just like Sparkle and Bronya, but maybe, maybe slightly better in like a one other, in one fringe scenario, kind of like how Sparkle is to Bronya where it's like, in a few scenarios, Sparkle is better. I actually don't quite think that there's a situation... Okay, maybe there, there possibly is an argument for a situation to be uh, where Bronya is better, but I think Sparkle is just so, so, so good. But straight up, uh, here's the thing. When you have a character that kind of fits every weakness, and you have the characters enough characters to fit almost every playstyle that you would want to uh, fill, like, I don't really care about dot teams at all. I don't think that is ever going to be an investment I make on this account. I'd have to get Kafka, uh, Black Swan, and build my Gwenaifin to really feel good about that. Uh, so that's not something I want to do. The only thing I really would be uh, kind of okay with doing is maybe if I, if I get uh, Adventuring, then I could do Preservation Runs in Simulated Universe because I'd have these big shields on everybody, and that would be really cool to feel like the high power of a Preservation Run. Um, I think that would, that would be really cool, which is why I've actually started debating on pulling him for adventuring. But Hey, like I said, if I don't get them, then I already have 47 pity built up from, from this video. 
yeah once you have reached that point where like you cover every weakness you cover you have a team for every kind of play style that you want to do then there's not really much to do or much to pull for in the game other than kind of improving your roster other like you can only you only have to pull if you really want another kind of character another character to kind of do maybe something that another character that you have does but just slightly better but this is at the point where i would rather just build up the eidolons on some of the characters that i might have on my account so some rerun banners i might actually start pulling for eidolons for because why not right i think i might do it for ruan may um because i she's very powerful and i use her all the time right and it's because like i use ruan may so often and it's like okay so let's just imagine a era uh a an ice iridition character comes out i'm gonna think to myself okay would i get nearly as much value out of getting this ice iridition character uh considering i have jing liu already would i really get as much value out of this ice iridition character to kind of do the same thing that my jing liu is doing uh and that or or, or would i rather just improve my ruan mei who i'm playing with like five different teams on my account with and just make her stronger so that she can do more stuff and do stuff better, right? Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? So, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if you have a different philosophy. I have always been very anti Eidolon uh, so far in my gameplay, but obviously, like, I'm, I'm probably going to break that right now. I mean, actually, I am. Uh, let's see if I can get the Eidolon. This would be crazy if I pulled it in the first 10 pull. It's not going to happen. And I got to be honest, guys, another reason why I'm doing this is because straight up, I'm bored. All right, I'm just sitting here. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm kind of chilling. Like, I got nothing going on. I want to pull uh, for no reason. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull for no reason. I'm going to get some more Starlight so I can start maybe saving up Sampo. Oh, my God, my man. Um, I'm going to start getting a lot of Starlight, and I'm going to start saving for the next uh, free-to-play five-star light count. Right? Okay. Another temple for 20 into the pity. And of course I always go through and I always open these up. So <clears throat> I always do the one by one. I kind of like doing that. I don't mind. I think it's fun. Oh my God. A Hanya Eidolon. There was that one uh, where I was pulling for the uh, Don Hung Il light cone or, or was it Don Hung Il himself? One of them. Right. And I got, the character of the light cone i got one of them and then i clicked and hanya was afterwards and i had a better or I had a larger celebration for hanya than i did like the actual uh legendary pull that was crazy like what am i thinking oh good night and sleep well i don't know if i actually have that uh starting to be built but if i do that would be amazing if i could get some uh copies of it Anything that I don't really have a lot of copies of, I'd like to get some. We already have all the characters on this banner, uh, E6. Uh, except for, obviously, Sparkle herself. Uh, let's go to... What were we about to do? Oh, I'm going to change... I'm going to bring up the volume to 2 instead of 1, because I feel like it's really quiet. But I also don't want it to be, like, super, super crazy loud. So, uh, also, let's go to the store. And okay, no, I don't. I can't buy anything. That's for not for another sixteen days. Um. Yeah, let's let's keep going. All right, before we're gonna do this ten pull, and then before we do the single pulls, okay, before we do the single pulls, we're gonna do the ten pull of the standard banner. I think we're gonna switch off and do that. No legendary yet. Like I said, this is completely fine, by the way. This this is like nothing nothing is wrong about what we're doing right now. We we want this one and two. Uh we're building up pity. So even if we didn't get a sparkle idol on, right? Even if we don't get that, even if we don't lose the 50-50 and get someone else, right? We're still building pity. And even if we did pull legendary and lost the 50-50, at least we got the 50-50 loss out of the way, so the next character is 100% guaranteed next time I go to do some pulls. Wow. 
That's rough. This is rough. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I definitely don't have that S5. I don't know if that's actually good. I actually don't remember a lot of them by name exactly. Okay, we got two that we don't have S5. That's nice. Let's do two single warps and we'll see. We're, we are gonna skip the single ones. That aren't legendaries, at least. Alright, let's go. Seven pulls here. Seven pulls. Oh, man. I know this might not be as exciting to people because I'm not, you know, guaranteed to get a legendary here. But... I'm having a good time. I'm having a good I am gambling. You know what it is. You know how it be. We have three pulls left. Three pulls left. We gotta be hitting at least our four star here. Okay, there we go. Shared feeling. I know I don't have that one S5 either. I think this is probably... Uh, this is the last one. This is the last one. Oh, man. We did not get it. We did not get it. Man, the video feels kind of empty when I don't get it. Guys, you know what I mean? Do I have Oneric shards? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. We're not doing that. No. I'm not spending any money. Um, okay. Well, hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But we did get a Hanya Eidolon here. So, she's one away from E6. And on top of that, in our Starlight Exchange, we have 120 out of the 600 that we would need. I'm not sure we want to get maybe this, right? Is this... Because I am starting to build my Clara, so I would assume that this is probably better than what I currently have on Clara. Alright, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, and, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're almost 50 pity into, we're 48 pity into our next banner. And as for the standard, as for the standard, we are 12 pulls away from guaranteeing a five star. And I can bet you guys, I, I know what I'm going to pull. I know what I'm going to get. I know, right? Because an argument would be like, okay, well, I like Welt. I like Bronya. Uh, I have both of those. I have Himiko. Uh, I have Bayou, but I'm not getting a Bayou, uh, Eidolon. I have Clara. The only one I don't have, the only ones I don't have are the Ice ones. Uh, I don't have a Yanqing or a Jepard. I'm not planning on getting a Yanqing or Jepard. Jepard would be the only one I would even consider there. Um, but I think I would rather wait for a better preservation shield-based character to come out, such as Adventurine. Uh... I don't think I'm gonna get a Clara Light Cone. I'm not gonna uh, Eidolon. I'm not gonna get a uh, Himiko Eidolon, and I'm not gonna get a Welt Eidolon. I don't want to get um, Eidolons for damage characters, especially with Welt. I I still really haven't used my Welt, and I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do Himiko or Clara. I don't. I think that I'm going to take the W and I'm going to guarantee an Eidolon for Bronya. And I know that sounds kind of crazy because I already have E1 and E2, right? I already have E1 and E2, but I still use Bronya. Bronya is still an incredible character in this game. And considering I have E1 and E2, taking E3, yes, I only get some skill ups. But if I ever lose the 50-50 and get her again, then I get her E4, which is another actual buff. So that is definitely probably what I will be going with. Right, after an ally other than Bronya uses a basic attack on an enemy with wind weakness, Bronya immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target, dealing wind damage equal to 80% of Bronya's basic attack damage. This effect can only be triggered one time per turn. That's kind of weird. That's kind of interesting. It kind of she just she just pops off with some free damage. Why not? But Okay. Oh wow. E6 Bronya actually gives her 
a, a, the sparkle treatment where she just becomes sparkle. Duration of the damage boost effect placed by the skill on the target ally increases by one turn. So it's not just boost the turn, they use it, uh, the buff, and, and then the buff goes away. It'll actually be... That's crazy. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, well, that's unfortunate. Um, I did too, because I didn't pull anything uh, crazy that I wanted to try and pull. Um, but hey, I'm bored tonight. 15 minutes of fun. Why not? I'll see you in the next video. Peace.